Welcome to our exploration of ggplot2. Today, we're tackling a question that many data enthusiasts encounter. Why is it that creating a simple bar chart with Yearmon scales can be more complicated than it seems? Our viewer is curious about the unexpected challenges they faced while trying to visualize their data. Let's dive into the details and uncover the reasons behind this puzzling situation. Welcome back to another technical video. Today I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully you find that solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on. Go on. Let's begin by understanding the issue with the first chart. In ggplot2, geombar is designed to create bar charts based on counts of categorical data. However, when using yearmon, which is treated as a continuous variable, it can lead to unexpected results. The warning message you see, position stack requires non-overlapping X intervals, indicates that ggplot2 is struggling to stack the bars correctly because the yearmon intervals overlap. This is why the first chart appears incorrect. To create a proper bar chart, we need to summarize the data first. This means grouping by yearmon and status and then counting the occurrences. This is what the second chart does, and it provides a clearer representation of the data. In the final solution, we convert the yearmon to a date format that represents the first day of each month. This allows us to use scale x date for better formatting of the x-axis ticks. In summary, Always ensure that your data is appropriately summarized before plotting with ggplot2. This will help avoid issues with overlapping intervals and ensure your visualizations are accurate and informative. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. The issue with the first plot arises because ggplot2 treats yearmon as a numeric value with labels. This leads to bars being spread out when plotted without aggregation. To fix this, you should set an appropriate bin width using geom histogram. The bin width of 1 12th corresponds to the 12 months in a year. For better control over ticks and access labels, consider using the Lubridate package after aggregating your data. Finally, you can create a more accurate plot using Geom Call after aggregation, which allows for clearer visualization of your data. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. You can simplify your ggplot2 code by using a factor for yearmon. This is a quick fix to help with your bar chart. And that's it guys. We've gone through, answered your questions, and hopefully found that solution that you're looking for. If we did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one. Yeah.